I think those are bonefish. It's like four or five of them. Knew they might be around here. I have nothing ready for them. They're just going that way. So hopefully they'll slow down. It doesn't look like it though. Oh, they're turning left. All right, let's see if we can... Fortunately, I don't have anything rigged. I rebuilt my two reels yesterday. And one of them... Oh, I got my fly rod. That'll have to do. All right, they're still running out there. Slow down, man. They're just like skittish as heck. Hey, everybody. How we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. And I am out here to try to catch some fish that I haven't been able to catch before, but I know they're there. Or I think I know they're there. And I think I have a technique that'll catch them. Uh, one of my deals is if I can see the fish, then I can catch them. Maybe not right then, but I'll keep coming back until I figure it out. So I've got two target species. One is at the end of this island. There's a corner with a, um, it's a current wraparound. And uh, there's kind of a dugout trench there because of the current. And there's a few redfish that I always run into that sit in that hole there. But uh, my last video, I tried to hit them. I didn't have my anchor line long enough. So I ended up drifting over that deeper hole. And then uh, a couple of redfish scattered out. And then one just basically sat there and didn't move until my kayak drifted over them and I couldn't catch them. And then number two, there's also a, a outlet kind of like this here that at really low tide, it pushes a bunch of these uh, little juvenile snook out of there. And I got that on video. The issue though is that that super low tide when they get pushed out, they're very skittish. So they're very hard to, to catch. So what I want to do is come at a higher tide like this. I brought some chum. And then I'm going to go up current side of it, anchor, chum through the, the basic, the hole there, and then see if I could pull them out while they're in kind of a, a more of a feeding zone. So that's the plan. If I see the fish, I can catch the fish. If you just give me enough chances. So that's the plan for today. Here's those kind of creeks that I'm talking about. These things wind all the way through to the other side of the island, way over there. But there's fish spread out. I mean, the outside edge is over there and over there, and you can see how far the water goes in. And this is not even high tide, this is like mid tide. I'm hitting these pockets because I'm trying to find mullet, but just not finding them. But uh, these are the creeks I'm looking for. Water is coming, I think it's coming out this way, so I have to be on the other side anyways. But uh, I'm checking these leeward side of the island for mullet. I've seen one mullet over on the first plot. Not good. But I've got some frozen stuff, so. And then I just rigged up a esky pumpkin color and then the uh, a bucktail jig. I just rebuilt these reels last night, so they're nice and fresh. I'm running up in all these inlets. I'm looking for mullet, but just nothing. I found a nice little school of glass minnows over there. So those will work for... Uh, getting the mangrove snappers popping and then that'll attract the other fish I think I've got one frozen mullet that I can cut up and then I've got the uh, bucktail jig and esky shrimp but I'm not seeing like pinfish uh, grunts mahara just not really much in the way of bait here's another one of those cuts So even though the end's there, this is all covered in water all the way through to the outside there. So as you can see, that's the bay on the other side. And definitely the water is coming this way, so I got to be on the other side to chum them to get them to come out. Still got some time, it's still pretty high. But yeah, no bait around. Just saw two tarpons swim across there, that little white hole. But they're way in that bush there now. They just kind of cut across there. They're like, oh, oh crap, and then cut inside there. All right, so that's the corner that I want to hit there. So I'm going to go wide. Current's coming this way, so I need to get on the other side. And that will be exactly the way I came the last time. See if I see any bonefish out here. 
All right, we're all set up. I went ahead and lengthened uh, my anchor line so I definitely are not gonna drag anchor like last time. Uh, this is that corner that I'm talking about. Uh, you can kind of see the current is ripping around here because it basically hits the wall and it has to go around here. You can see the uh, white sands is, uh, that's been worn away from the current. What I'm looking at is you can see right here, there's kind of an edge with the grass and then it drops down to where the white sand is and then that creates kind of an eddy in there some slow water where a lot of times the fish will sit there and then just be out of the current they can just re reduce the amount of energy they're using and if food comes over the top they'll just grab it and go back down um, for me what i want to do is just go section by section and just really take a hard look at every little pocket to make sure i'm not missing them uh, if i don't see anything i'll pull the anchor drift another halfway drop anchor stop scan in the full thing and just incrementally go the hole that i'm looking for is past these branches dead branches sticking out uh by where those uh green mangroves uh are uh bushy there and just on that other side so but i just in case they're here um i could do what would probably be the most effective way is put my chum bag now chum bag out right now that chum will go through around that corner and I'll just suck everything around there over here and I'd be able to see them. Except this time I wanna kinda grab them my way uh, when I don't have chum. Normally what happens when they get spooked because people will come around this edge, they'll see them get spooked and then they'll run out to the flats out there, they'll hang out out there and then come back in a little bit later. And that's also what I think happens when the uh, tide drops they run out to the deeper water out there, just hang out, water comes up, and then they come back. So I've scanned this area, now I'm gonna pull anchor, drift down a bit, drop again, and then scan again. See all these needlefish hanging out there, so that's kind of a dead spot. The area I'm looking at is just around there. So I'm gonna drop anchor here so I can scout it out. So hopefully I'll see them. Hopefully this anchor will stop me usually right inside there where are you boys at guess I could throw a bucktail in there just in case I can't really tell they might be in there or in these little pockets here so I'll just sit here a bit just keep an eye out see if I see any movement well instead of uh, burning through there I went ahead and just stayed on anchor I could see pretty well I'm not seeing anything put the chum bag out tracking the uh, there's some decent mangroves in here I think there's a shark yeah there's a shark there all these needlefish are coming so the scent is out and if there's anything down there it would have started easing its way up so they're just not here so that is the technique. Just got to wait till I get the fish here. Uh, I guess maybe because of the summer temps, they're not hanging out here. But uh, yeah, might be just a kind of a, a cooler weather spot. So I'll give it a little bit more time. I want to see what size mangroves come out, if any other species come out. And then I'll move to the snook spot. Yeah, there's some bigger mangroves that showed up, but they, they stood, uh, hung back. This is exactly the hole right here. Oh, there's a shark there. Two sharks. Where those redfish would hang out in these holes. But, man, I better not run into one now. I'll be pissed. But I ran that chum for a little while, and uh, that would have created some movement. See, there's some decent mangroves. This deeper water here. I was thinking that I would pull some of the uh, tarpon as well but nothing now here's that channel it's actually somewhat towards the middle I thought it was on the end but it's it's pretty far down so it gets right in the heart of the islands I scared a bunch of things but I was screwing with the motor I just saw a bunch of bodies running underneath there I bet you there were the small snook but the wind and the current are going the same direction so it's going to pull that chum in I just got to figure out a good spot to anchor down where I got good visibility there's a little bit of a deeper trough in the center they run along the edges though most of them came this way I think if I remember right but some did go that way 
see how it's deeper here. I think I'll get in closer to start and then I'll back up once the water goes down. Alright, drop anchor. Oh, there's a snook, all the snook. That's a tarpon or a snook. That's a snook. All those snooks there. Man, I hope I didn't blow it. They were just sitting in this little hump right here, just like I talked about. They'll just be on the back side of these rises. All right. Well, I'm more interested in to see if the chum will track them out of here, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put the chum back back out. Oh, there they are right there. Let's see if that gets them interested. I've got some glass minnows as well. I've got this one frozen three times mullet. See what that does. I always throw a, a mullet head out there. Just kind of get it to a spot where I could see it and then uh, I'll see if that pulls them out. Yep, they're going after that mullet head. Those are little guys, but I don't really care. I just want to see if this system works or not. Right. I don't think they, the snook just don't quite really care about the, the chunks. I don't know if one came and ate it though. I can't see the piece there. Chum, chum, chum. It's chum flowing. There's two of them right there. My bait's down right there. He's coming up for it. But they're like, that is just disgusting. Freezer burn crap. What are you trying to bring that crap around here for? What do you think we are? Some stupid redfish? Alright. Let me bring out the bucktail. Couple snook right there. Oh, come on. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh God, what, what is this? What, what are we doing? Oh, I thought I had it. All right, now we got a perfect knot. <sighs> so skillful I am. This shark ate my mullet. Oh. God dang it. Man, I am not doing very good on my new techniques here. It's been a bunch of time undoing a stinking knot. I'm, I don't know how I made it. Get out of those trees. Get out of the trees. Get out. No. No. Oh my gosh. He made it through there. I must have a foul hook somehow. Or wrapped.
just twist over on your other side. Oh, this is just going to make things so much better for this spot. Golly. I think I do have him foul hooked in the fin. Why oh, can't cut me off? What is going on here? Whoa. Oh God. Something, help me. All right. I just want my hook back. I'm tired of rigging. And I got him in the right fin there. Just stop. Stop. I couldn't even catch him right. There he goes. Don't, 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 don't bite my rope. Don't bite my rope there. There it goes. Oh, what a mess. Huh, there's no snook around anymore. Wonder why. There was some tarpon just rolling right there. Where'd they go? Oh, I heard them. There they are. Just drifting down. There's another one rolling. I filled a bucktail at them. Because that's what I got. weeds my oh and it let it go it's got it <laughs> I got my tarpon oh went after that mullet chunk young and dumb thank God Threw my bucktail out there and a stupid barracuda ate it, took it. Sorry dude, I'm savoring the moment here. I had a rough day. I had a rough last couple of trips. But you're not a redfish. Wore my snook shirt. And you're not a snook. But I'll take ya. I'm struggling. Come around to this side, please. Yep, keep coming, keep coming. All right, there we go. I think this is all. Uh, I guess I can walk on it. Oh. 
Oh no. There we go. You're done. You're done, buddy. Ouch. Ouch. Dang. Wasn't helpful. Oh, you got that thing in the bottom of your lip. That's why. Well, if you want to eat it upside down. I can't thumb you, man. Got that poke point right there. There he goes. Make me angry. Oh, it's got it. There he goes. Boy, howdy. That was some work. Get out of there. Oh, Lordy. Please be the end of my rough streak. I'm wondering if those might be my redfish. There goes another set. I'm gonna chase these down. Yeah, those gotta be my redfish. It's a school of them. Let's see what these are. those tarpon oh bonefish shoot they're all bonefish dang it Steve pay attention oh, right there oh, give me a freaking rod any of them oh it's right there oh right on top of them the school of them. There he goes right there. There he goes. Oh no, he turned them. Oh, so the bonefish. Stupid Steve. That's all bonefish there. And there was another school. Where did they go? God dang it, Steve. I didn't even think that about bonefish. Oh, that was them. All right, let's uh, push after them. They're over there. There's another set here. Oh, dang it, Steve. Yeah, motoring after bonefish is, is not the way to go. Being a bit stealthy is much better. There's three schools. There's one here. There's two of them there, and then there's one over there. The problem is I'm behind them, so I could just keep pushing them, but I got to get out in front. They're turning. These guys are turning. That's a bigger school there. If I can get out in front of them, there, there. Well, that sucked. I just couldn't get out in front of them enough where I could stop and do anything. One's going that way. There's another one out that way. There's one way out that way. And I just flushed everything out of there. <laughs> but it's this kind of foggy overcast. So I can't see anything anyways. Godly. Dang it. I'm out of sync. All right, so I got to add this flats. This flats is actually where I always see the uh, redfish when they're running across to the deeper water, but those bonefish were doing the same thing. 
So I need to come out here falling tide, uh, probably three quarters of the way to low tide, 10 to 12 inches on the flats and dropping. And that's when they were here. So I'll just have to make sure I'll come back and then uh, I'll pull the whole thing, no motor, because I'll know they're there. Redfish, oh shoot, I hit the kayak. There's my redfish on the flats. I'm out of sync. God dang it. Freaking hitting everything. Stop winding yourself on the dang rod. All right. God dang it. I can't tell if those are permit, array, or redfish tails. See how sharp that tip is. Then it kind of flops like a, a ray, but I'm thinking that's a redfish. Is that a ray? Or is it a nurse shark? Oh, see, that's got to be a redfish. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be a redfish. Get out of here, shark! Get out of here, shark! Get out of here, shark! Yeah, that's got to be a redfish. Oh my! This is what I've been working for. Where's he at? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, there he is. Nope, that wasn't right. I'd come right in front of them. That's got to be something else. Where did he go? Oh God, come on. That can't be him. No. That was my tailing redfish. Oh, come on, please. Oh, that, see, that can't, that's gotta be something else. Those are needlefish or something. Where did my redfish go? Uh, that's a shark. All right, let's move up there and see if I can spot him before he spots me. There he goes. Oh, where did he go? I just saw him. Oh, there he is, right up there. Oh, freaking, that was great. See if I can get him to settle down there. He's right up there. Make sure there's no more. All right, we'll just keep following him. 
Thought he went this direction. I see a Goliath grouper underneath there. In that hole, I saw him go underneath there. I can see his fin, or is that his head? Yeah, his face is sticking out. But I'm not looking for you yet, Mr. Goliath grouper. See a Goliath grouper right there. It's a pretty big one. Yep, still right there. And I don't need this light rod. Okay, where's my heavy rod? Wait a circle hook. Still there, yep, still there. Pretty sure that's him. And of course, I got probably a knot in there. Oh, that. Oh, it scuffed up my leader. Ah, oh, dang it. Do I risk it? It's only a Goliath grouper. How strong can it be? Still there. Make sure there's no redfish around. Screw this up. A little bit more drag than that. A little bit more drag than that. All right. So he's right there. He is a pretty good sized one. So I want to. Oh my god. Man, I suck at fishing. Should take up golf. I'm gonna have to get a lot closer, I think. You smell it? I'm gonna have to go a lot closer. right by him and drop it on his nose. Right about there. Unless he's like taking a nap. Gotta smell it. It's right in front of you, buddy. Oh, he's swimming away from it. He's actually swimming away from it. Oh, Lord. He's actually not wanting it. He was actually repulsed by the refrozen mullet. He's over there now. was just not working out and I need to get out of here before I got stuck so I'm pushing out I'm gonna head over to the the Union over there and uh, work this super low tide uh, I'll look for a tailing redfish I could do the same thing over here I, I could see quite a while so I'll look for some action around here but then I just need to get some deeper water run a little bit closer to the launch and then finish out the last hour of sunlight here I'm trying to do some sight fishing I 
often did you pass that up? What is this? Dang it, whatever it was. I did not like it. That's a shark. That was acting differently. I think that's a redfish. Yeah, that's a redfish. There's a redfish tailing up here, right there. I'm on his back. Oh, freaking spooked him. That's my redfish there. All his tail and glory. Oh, put it right on his back. There's my redfish tailing. Yep, it's tailing nicely. Oh, get off of there. Come back. What's this one? Oh, that's a shark. Dang it. Perfectly tailing there. Ooh, right there. Oh, come on. You're right on it. Ooh, right on top of his back. See it? Do you see it? No, nope, can't see it. Is 
There we go, right in front of your face. Oh, oh, I did well on the casting on that. I was on them. Losing my sun. Losing my light. All right, sun is set. There's still redfish tailing all along this flats here. I've been chasing them. I needed to just stop and put a uh, crab fly on, something with a little bit of bulk that would kind of slow sink instead of that clouser. Uh, but yeah, I saw probably six or seven that I just kept chasing around. They'd spook off, but then they'd stop, start tailing again, so they're around as well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just off. Can't get in sync. But the, the, uh, what I want to try is to come back for those bonefish over there, and then maybe for the redfish over here. Give up on the uh, refrozen mullet chunks. Those are sucking, not needing to chum. It'd be better to be stealthy, throw artificials than doing that. So yeah, there's one coming right now. You can tell they're not sharks because they um, don't have a dorsal sti uh, fin sticking out. And then they go a lot slower than the sharks. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video where I hopefully I get off this struggle bus. Bye. Right there.